Hi guys, my name is Ayi. And my name is Daga. We are from DPC 3A. As for today, we're going to explain you about District Cooling System, DCS. I know you guys are wondering what is DCS and how related to our subject, thermodynamic. And that's the answer we're searching for. Hopefully, at the end of the video, you guys will understand. Come in. Come in. Please elaborate about CWS because we are like talking about the CWS, what is CWS, and why we do it in thermodynamics. CWS is actually a uh, step for chill water system or supply. Uh -huh. um, another step is cooling water system. But the point is, CWS is a uh, chill water supply for air conditioning system. So, sir, how can it relate like CWS, cooling water system, with the subject that we learn, thermodynamic? I just can't really relate it. Together. No idea. <laughs> yeah, no idea. CWS actually is a part of air conditioning system. So uh, if we say about air conditioning system, it's related to thermodynamics first law. I think you should go to some of the cooling sy uh, system uh, plan because uh, since uh, this is one and only alternate than having a Cooling system uh, for the air conditioning system supply. Yes, I think you have to to go some the information. Yes, to get the information for the details. I think it might help to finish your assignment. Okay, guys. Today we are at the district cooling system plant. I do help Pago. I think you cannot see. Ta-da! Okay, let's go in. Let's go. This district cooling system plan will supply chill water to UTHM, PTSN, IIUM, UTM, and shed facilities at Yohak Pago. They have five chiller, four in duty and one standby. Each of these chiller can provide 1000 RP. Currently, for this plant, they have using process that need to charge the test tank at night for approximately 10 hours. Make it full of chill water with 5 degrees Celsius. At morning, they have to discharge the test tank and supply the chill water to all institutions. So they don't need to run the chiller because the demand still not maximized. This is the thermal energy storage tank, or we call it uh, in short form is test tank. So this one test tank one, and the one test tank two. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, for DCS, uh, we we want to know what of the type of DCS. Actually, based on the uh, based on their storage. Uh. So this one is uh, chill water storage. Uh, thermal energy storage, uh, but this one uh, chill water storage. Uh. Actually, an another type of uh, energy storage is the ice uh, energy storage. So, but this one uh, for this plant we use uh, chill water storage. Uh, let me see the sensor. Okay, uh, as you can see, uh, at each level of this test tank, we use a uh, temperature sensor. Uh, in order we you want to know the temperature of the uh, this test tank. Uh. Actually, this test tank is full of water. Uh, uh, even uh, the the different the different uh, it's not about the uh, quantity of the water. Actually, the, uh, the the tank is full of water. So the difference is uh, the temperature. So this why we use the temperature sensor in order to determine the temperature. Uh, it is uh, as what as per what we charging. Uh. Okay, uh, here you can see uh, our district cooling plant cooling tower. We have uh, 10 units of the cooling tower uh, and 2 units uh, for the standby. So each of uh, each of chiller, we have 5 chiller 
the each of chili uh, must have two kumita wood, two unit of kumita wood. Okay, uh, uh, two unit at the medium is uh, the for the standby uh, for the chili chili tree, the standby chili. Okay, uh, let's see inside of the kumita wood. This one is one unit of cooling tower, and uh, beside is the another cooling tower. Lah. So this one, as you can see, the black one is the we, what we call infill, and, and then we have a uh, fan at the above, as you can see. Okay, uh, and then uh, the water will uh, retain from the up, and then uh, go down through the infill slowly, uh, slowly, slowly, and then. Uh, the water will go in contact with the air, you know, in, in order to uh, cool the cool the water, cool the condenser water. So this one actually the condenser water is the uh, open system, open loop system. Okay, uh, let's go. We see the room. How is it? Here, they have a standard system in order for their operator to control this plan. The operator can monitor and control from this control room. If you can see, this is the 5 chiller, 2 test tank and the backup water tank. Also, 2 set of the cooling tower. For example, they can control start and stop button for the chiller and change from manual to the auto operation. They can control everything from here. As for now, they use a semi-auto operation. So, Dega, what do we learn from our visit to a DCS plant? So, I, I have learned that the water flows from our institute to the CWS cooling tower system and is produced as changed in internal enthalpy and flows back to our institute. So, that's why we get non-stop cool air when, when you switch on the air conditioner. Good, so that's all from us. We hope that you guys can relate the thermodynamic subject and the DCS system. Thank you.